Way. Women's B1500, Emma Hogan from Glen Huntley in one. We welcome from South Australia, Molly Cook in two, Poppy Scott Dalgleish from Diamond Valley in three, Poppy Austin from South Australia in four, from Williamstown, Alexandra Schultz in five, from Sandringham, Orla Shackloff in six. From Yarra Rangers, Brigitte Rice in seven, Alexandra Anthony, Glenn Huntley in eight, from Mentone, Tilly Williams in nine, Sarah Adam from Richmond in ten, Olivia Twining, Yarra Rangers in eleven, Jessica Khan from New South Wales is in twelve, Sky Ellis from, is in thirteen, Lily Alice from Glenn Huntley in fourteen, from Box Hill, Amelia Morton fifteen, and Olds of Areas, Annabelle Coleman in sixteen. And we have Ali Brooks pacing as Schultz right up there with Hogan. Also on the inner rail there is Cook, the South Australian. So nicely bunched at the moment. So Brooks just doing a pacing job here. They're probably looking to go through probably around that 68, 69 second mark. So 67, 68 as they go through now. So good job there from Brooks just getting that pace going early here on the sub 430 so 72 second laps will get to the 430 and they're well and truly under that as they set off into this second lap so Hogan up early Schultz looking good what a year Alexander Schultz has been having looks like a little gap then to Cook the South Australian she's in the black uniform but this pace certainly on twining at the rear of the field that she's the Victorian steeplechase champ from Yarra Rangers, so you'd expect Liv Twine to come through strong at the tail end of this one. But out front, Ali Brooks just driving that pace. Looks like Hogan's the one going with her at the moment. So Emma Hogan, one of our top seeds, she's a 436, or got a 436 seed, but I certainly has got some impressive form, the triathlete from Queensland. But no, it's, yeah, it is definitely Hogan going with the pace, Schultz. Then we have Poppy Austin, the South Australian in next position. Also up there, Sky Alice. Good to see Sky back. Bit of a gap back then to Alexandria Anthony. Sarah Adam not too far behind her. That's two marathon runners in this 1500 metres. So 223 thereabouts. So they're on 430 pace at the moment. So Hogan going with the pacemaker, Ali Brooks. A little bit of a gap then. So pacing still going nicely out the front there for Emma Hogan. Gaps are starting to form to Schultz. Cook just drifting back. Looked like Austin was the one making the moves through. So big gaps starting to form in this field as they come down. So Brooks has done her job. She's got them through to the one kilometre mark there. So thanks, Ali, on the three-minute mark. So right on 4.30 pace at the moment for Hogan. The chase is going to come on now because I think Austin's starting to get a little bit of a move on here. She's coming alongside Schultz. Sky Alice going with her. Now we're seeing Shaklov come just in front of Cook. Next one up there is Jessica Khan, the New South Wales youngster. So Williams, then Twining. So looks like Scott Dalgleish in the last position as they're going around the bend the last time and there is quite a race on here. So out front, it's Hogan, really driving forward as he's approaching 200 to go. The chase pack really starting to come through there, about 25 metres back though, a little bit of work to do. So 200 metres out for them and it's four minutes on the clock. So Hogan's going to be very close to this 4.30 mark, 4.05 now as she rounds the bend the last time. A little bit of movement there in the pack as the chase has started to separate as they come round. But Hogan into the home straight last time in this B race. So 4.20 on the clock now. Emma Hogan coming through to take the win for Glenn Huntley. Strong run here and they're really starting to close fast and looks like trying to pick them up so they come through but it's a good run there for Emma Hogan. So 4.32 thereabouts. Sky Alice will come through the next position. Then it'll be Cook to South Australian. The other South Australian, Austin, not too far behind her. Then Schultz, Shackloff, Anthony. Then a big run there for Annabelle Coleman. Morton not too far behind. Also the young girl, Khan from New South Wales. That's a nice run from her. So lots of PBs in that race. 
as we get behind Poppy Scott Dalgleish and she'll run out our field here just on the five minute mark in the women's B. 1500.